Hello everyone and welcome to the Atlas Open Data tutorial. My name is Mariana Vivas and today I'm going to show you how to navigate the Atlas Open Data website and how to use our resources. This video will be divided in three chapters depending on use case, so feel free to jump ahead if you know where you're going. So let's get started. To get started, we're going to go to the upper tab in the Get Started tab. So we will start with the quick start guide. This is aimed for people that are new to Atlas. Maybe you don't know much about what we do here. Maybe you know a bit, but haven't used our data. So we made this little guide. If you don't know what we do here, I will suggest that you start with the general information. So read a bit about the Large Hadron Collider, about the Atlas experiment, about the standard model, just so that you get familiar with what we are doing. The links are here in the general information subsection. If you know a bit and you want to start using the data, I suggest that you start with the Higgs to Gamma Gamma analysis that is linked here. We are going to use this through notebooks. So notebooks are a way of running code. So we will start with this analysis on Binder. Binder is a platform to use notebooks. So you can click the Launch Binder button here and it should open a new tab with the, with the notebook. You have to wait for it to load for a minute. Once it loads, you have this how to rediscover the Higgs boson because this is an analysis to discover the Higgs boson from the decay of two bottoms. You can start running the cells here by using the display bottom that is up here and reading what we are doing. If you want to know more about what the analysis is about, you can check the section on the example analysis that is on the documentation, also link in the path. If you go down, you can see here that is a, this is explanation for, for the H2 gamma gamma decay. And you will see some of the criteria for object selection and a plot that is what you ultimately should achieve with the notebook. If you want to check another notebooks after this one, you can check the introductional notebook to high energy physics analysis in C++ or you can check any other of the notebooks that we have here in this section. The advantage of this pad is that you can start really quick to use the data and you can do it online so you don't have to download anything. Just open the link and start working with it. Now we are going to the deep dive and the deep dive is aimed for people that want some more extended use of the data. So maybe you want to run multiple notebooks, maybe you're a teacher and have a classroom so you can set up multiple computers with this. And the advantage is that you can save changes locally, so you will have the notebooks locally. And even you can download the data, so you can have the the data on the computer and you won't need internet to run the analysis. So for this part, we are going to start in the hybrid platforms, which is where the information about the two platforms that we currently have, which are Docker and virtual machines. I will focus in Docker right now. For this, you need to download Docker and open it. The link is here for the official website. Once you have Docker open, you can run a terminal and run this code that is here. This will download the container and the first time that you run it, it will take several minutes to download, so beware. Once it downloads everything, you can copy this path here on the terminal on your browser and it should open this Jupyter interface. Once you have this set up, we are going to go to the analysis notebooks and select any notebook. For this example, I'm going to clone 
all the repositories, so I'm gonna download all the all the notebooks in one in one go. Opening the terminal on the Jupyter interface and doing git clone with the link that I just got from the GitHub. Once you clone the once you clone the repository, you will have the file here with all the notebooks. I will go, for example, to 13 TV notebooks to uproot. Uh, I will open the same analysis I show in the quick star guide and you will have the analysis here the link for the data is this one so if you want to download the data you can copy this link open it and you will see the files here you can also check which files are being used so for example this is using data a which is this one here and you can have it locally and then you can run the notebook without using internet after this, you can check other notebooks or load other data. And since you have it locally, you can close the container and open it again and everything will be there safe. If you already run some notebooks, you can go to a bit more advanced tutorial. So you can go to a Fizzlite tutorial that is using the format that is used for the research data. So you can launch it here. You can also go to the research tab on the path so that you know a bit more about it. So lastly, I'm going to go to the research toolkit, which is a path aimed for people that are more familiar with the experiment and with maybe the resources that we offer here. So I will suggest starting with accessing the data so you know where to download it. All the data will be on the Seropen data portal and here is some information about the naming convention and how to find files. After that, I will suggest reading a bit about the FISLIDE format, uh, which is a format in which the data will be released. You have links here for the description of the variables, so you can read which variables are inside the containers, and you can also go to the FISLIDE tutorial. This tutorial is aimed to show how a simple analysis can be made with this light directly so we're gonna launch it here you can launch it on binder or you can download it it's on a github repository if you wait here for a minute the binder repository should load the notebook And we have the analysis here. It will show you how to use Uproot to read the FISLI, how to do some basic analysis to find the top quark, some basic object selection, and other things. You also have here how to transform the FISLI to Antuple. This is using the analysis software tutorial that is linked here and it's the software that we use here at Atlas to do analysis. For this, you will need to learn how to set up your containers, which is in the next section here. And for this, you will need Docker and run the comments that are here. Further information can be found here linked in the path for researchers, or you can go directly to the documentation tab if you need something in particular. So finally, if you have any questions, you can go to the Contact Us tab and fill the form and send a question. Make sure that your question is not addressed in the Frequently Asked Questions tab or in the What's New tab. You can also leave questions in the comments down below.